Okay, so we finish up the last part. So this side, I'm getting the coefficient of x. So I have uh, seven as the coefficient of x this side. Then on the other part here, um, I'm going to, if I want, I can expand everything or maybe that would be even easier for you to understand. But expanding again, there are certain questions that are complicated that will not need you to expand. So this side, you get the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x this side is what? Seven. Then on the other side here, the coefficient of x here is what? Um, you get a times x, you're getting ax. Uh, so a times x, you're getting ax. So we write a there and then b times uh, 4x, we're going to get what? Uh, 4bx. So I'm just getting the coefficient of x. So we say, okay, let me put x for you to understand. This side, we have 7x. Here, a times x, we're having ax. A times 7 to be 7a, we don't have x, so we leave it. Then you move on to the next part. We have b times 4x, we're getting 4bx. Then b times negative 3, um, b times negative 3 is negative 3b. So negative 3b is not having x, so we leave it. And then what you can do is just divide by x on both sides so that all the x is here will cancel. We just remain with 7 is equal to a plus 4b. So remember, we found b to be 3, so we just replaced 3 there. So we're going to have 7 is equal to a plus 4 times 3. So we're going to have 7 is equal to a. Then 4 times 3 is giving us what? Uh, 12. So we have a 12 there. So to find a, we simply just take this 12 to the other side of the equal sign so that we have a is equal to uh, uh, 7 minus 12. So that you find your value of a as uh, negative uh, 5. Okay. Yeah, so these are the two values of um, A and B. So next time when we meet, we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with B and uh, we finish up with C. Okay, see you in the next lesson.